y'all. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am really excited that I was able to do a video that one of you guys actually requested. If you're new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that way you guys can watch my future videos as well. And also don't forget to thumbs up this video and let me know if there's any other videos that you wanna see in the comment section below. Uh, that's all I gotta say. So we're just gonna jump in. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe E10 brush and my MAC Painterly paint pot and we gonna clean up these eyes a little bit because I have really bad veins. They're just veiny, like you can see them. And this is just gonna help the shadow stick on my lids since I'm an oily person. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go in with this Morphe 350M palette and go in with this white shade to just set that paint pot that we just put on our eye. All right, now we are going to go into my Z palette. And unfortunately I had a catastrophe when I was doing my brows off camera. I shattered one of the shadows and it literally just fell completely out. And this is your transition shade. So it should just be like in the crevice of where your brow bone is. And you just wanna kinda layer this on top of that transition shade that we just used. I just liked the depth that it created. Now to bring out the yellow colors even more, we're gonna go in with the shade Early Bird, which is just a darker toned yellow. And we're using that same E23 brush and we're just going to lightly place it over Chickadee and it's going to really make the yellow pop a little bit more. And it's gonna go on the outer V area. This is basically just a color for layering because we really want our purpley pink tones to pop. We're gonna hop in with the color Cherry Cola, which is just a dark purpley toned shade. Same brush, and we're gonna place that over the color that we just laid. Going to go in with an even lighter toned purpley pink shade. This is the color Bitten. I love it. I'm going in with the same brush and layering that over the two shades that we just laid. And it really helps this to blend so that you don't have to do very much. I haven't found a brush that I like yet, but I'm using this Morphe E35. It's super duper tiny. And I'm actually just gonna go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind to do this. I just like dab a little bit off of the top like this um, because it's not really necessary for it to be super cut, if you know what I'm saying. Like we just need it to be available for the glitter to really pop. We are going in with the color Legend. These are foiled eyeshadows. I'm gonna go in and mist this with my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Spray. This is really gonna make our glitter shadow stand out. A foiled eyeshadow that we're using, it kinda goes with those purpley tones and it's called Curtain Call. We just wanna spray our Mist and Fix a little bit more on this brush um, and then we're going to put this in the middle of our lid. So it's kind of gonna blend in those purpley shades with that gold color. I'm gonna be using my Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow Brush for this and then instead of just buying like, I don't know, glitter glue, I just use lash glue. It's way easier in my opinion. And this just has a really small brush on it, so same diff. We're just gonna put this all over um, the gold color that we laid. So then we'll open up our glitter. I have used my finger before. I'm 
but I think the, using the brush works a little bit better. So you're gonna have major fallout, but it's okay because we're gonna clean it up in a second. I'll rat it, tat it, rat it, tat it, rat it, tat it, tat it. Honestly, I usually put mascara on first, but uh, these are probably already about dry, so we're not gonna worry with that. No. I've been obsessed with the way false lashes look without an eyeliner. All right, and I got like a speck of black on the gold, so we're just gonna let it dry and then I should be able to pick it off. And then um, I have lashes that are weird color, so I'm gonna put black mascara on that. But I'm about to go ahead and do my complexion. I'm just gonna speed through this. Um, if you guys want a foundation video at some point, obviously I can do that. But um, all the products for it will be listed below. All right, thank you guys again for watching. Make sure if you haven't already to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video.